X Recent is a text to speech and voice conversion app for well known voices from video games. If you haven't already, check out the Vita video, which gives an overview of the main functions of the app. This video will just cover the new changes added in V3. The V3 update mostly revolves around the addition of support for V3 models and surrounding features for their new capabilities. Aside from much higher audio quality and higher expressivity, the completely different design enables a few things such as multilingual support, emotion sliders, style control, ability to invent brand new voices, better voice conversion quality, and more. Additionally, there are new post-processing options that can automatically improve audio quality. One such option is the addition of a super-resolution AI model, which enables generation of all audio up to 48 kilohertz. The first thing to notice about the V3 models is that they are fully phoneme-based, which means better pronunciations, less ambiguity, and ability to handle heteronyms. This also means that every single V3 model can speak each of the 28 languages that are now supported by the app. By using the backslash, as shown here. The V3 models are still able to control the pitch, energy, and duration of every symbol. In addition, they can now also control the emotion of the voice. Included in the app are sliders available to control if a line sounds happy, if it sounds angry, if it sounds sad, or sounds surprised. This can be changed for the entire line at once, or it can be varied across the line to blend between emotions. In a similar way, V3 models can also control the speaking style of the voice. This differs from predefined emotions, as they are user-defined styles. New styles can be added to a voice by providing an example audio file. Similar to emotion control, each new style adds a new set of sliders, meaning you can vary control of the speaking style across the line, or for the whole line at once. This works best when using a reference audio file from a same speaker, but that isn't a requirement. Similar to the voice styles is the addition of the voice workbench. Here you can craft a brand new identity to create a voice which does not exist in real life. This works the same way as interpolating between speaker embedding styles as I've just shown. The difference here is that the workbench is specifically made for reference audio files that do not belong to a predefined speaker. When happy with the previous changes, hit apply and repeat this step with more audio files. Repeating this nudging process with a variety of style directions will lead you to a new identity. Finally, the V3 models are built from the ground up to be able to perform voice conversion. This new system replaces the old V2 speech to speech system and is also able to make use of global changes to the emotion and style that can also use the new post processing steps for higher quality. Voice conversion can now also be used in batch mode by specifying a content audio file and a style reference audio file. Voice conversion overall is much higher quality and more stable. In fact, all the audio lines you heard for this section of the video were voice converted from the microphone recordings of my own voice rather than text to speech. All the voice models in XVSense can be trained with a simple UI companion app called XV Trainer. Check out the showcase video for that, for more details. It comes with all the tools you need to prepare your data, as well as the actual training. I've also updated XVA Trainer to now support training for V3 models, among other general improvements, such as open air whisper support for auto transcriptions, and fully automatic audio formatting and pre-processing when training starts. You can grab both XVA Synth and XVA Trainer either from Nexus Mods or from Steam. Both will always be free and open source. If you're a developer, you can contribute to either on their respective GitHub pages.